let's start with the characters you play. Can you tell me a little bit uh, who you play and a little bit about them? Him. So I play uh, Will Trainer, who is um, a man who appears to have everything when we first meet him in the movie, uh, but he is subject to a, a very unfortunate accident, um, and that I, I suppose transforms him into a very, very kind of bitter and, and twisted, uh, depressed, um, dark character, really. Um, and I think he, he kind of remains like that and he's sort of fed up of people treating him like like an invalid. Um, and so he, he's basically ready to end his life until there's a new breath of fresh air mm -hmm. who enters into his life. And her name is... Um, <laughs> Louisa Clark. I play Louisa Clark, and she is a uh, is an incredibly optimistic, chirpy individual who lives in a very bustling household, in a very small village, and is um, is kind of the heart of that family. Really, they're very very close, and she is very content living her life, working in the buttered bun, um, pouring the teas, and. Uh, there comes a point when her father loses her, his job, her sister has to um, get rid of her job because she wants to go back to university. So the responsibility falls on Lou's shoulders to carry the family. So that encourages her to go out and find a proper job. And after a series of um, failed job opportunities, she <laughs> stumbles upon the chance to be a caregiver to... Will Trainer, who is a quadriplegic and lives in the big castle in the village. And it's from then on that a two that a very unlikely pair finds love. Nice. Now you, this is a different role that we're seeing you in. Mm -hmm. we're, most people are seeing you in a bit of a darker role. So this is this is gonna be new to a lot of your fans. So what was, were there any challenges in, in playing in such a different role, or was it easy for you? Well, the funny thing about, about me getting to play Lou was that it's, it might seem to outsiders like it's a big departure, but this is very much who I am. Daenerys is the one that I'm doing most of my acting in. <laughs> I mean, I got Daenerys in me for sure, but, but Lou is, um, I'm like 80, 90% Lou. So this was 99. 19, maybe, maybe more. Um, so this was just this was just like um, the easiest transition I've ever had to do, and it was a joy being able to be there every day and be Lou. I got yeah, it was happy days. Great. And were there any challenges in playing Will? Did you learn anything from playing it? Did you need to sort of research to play it? Yeah, um, there there were a hefty amount of uh, challenges that came along with playing Will, actually. One, fully understanding his reasoning and his decision-making and kind of getting on board with that. Uh, you know, I, it's just it's one of those things, I, I've never been familiar, I've never explored the world of, of, of quadriplegia or, 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 in fact, any disability, really. And so for me, this was a really eye-opening experience, one that I kind of wanted to grab with both hands and, um, uh, you know, I push myself, basically, to do the part justice. Um, so there was, there was a lot of physical challenges. I wanted to lose weight in order to look frail and weak and tired. Uh, I it was really struggled with kind of sitting still for long periods of the day. Um, but emotionally, it was draining, honestly. It, I, and I know that, oh, I'm pretty sure that Amelia feels the same. Yeah, yeah, it was it was an incredibly yeah. I mean when you watch the movie you'll see it's a very emotion it's an emotional roller coaster. And so it was tough. It, it was just really hard work, you know. It was but it didn't feel like hard work, but like it, I, I just I pushed myself harder than I've ever pushed myself. And I I would literally lived this for, you know, well I still do. It it, it means I'm so attached to it and I'm, yeah. it's so special to me. Um so yeah, it was yeah. Great. Tough. Now this story, how would you describe this story? I mean, there it, there's humor in it, there's sadness, there's love. I mean, how would you describe it? Well, I th I think the easiest way to describe this is a love story, because that's really what the heart of it is. And 
you happen to be faced with quite a kind of um, obstacle in the beginning. And um, I think Lou, with the, the Lou's reaction to Will's disability is then going to become, well, hopefully will become the audience's reaction, which is, it's not that that she's scared of, that she's alarmed by any of that. It's the man. It's the, it's the reaction to the chair. And so I think that hopefully this movie will allow people to see past that and have the disability be the least interesting thing about Will and the most beautiful thing being the love story. And ultimately it's just, it's a star-crossed lovers story really, but just in a very... Um, a new setting. In a new setting, in a new, yes. So, so in, in saying that, what do you think each character is attracted to in the other character? How, what is the attraction there? Well, I mean, there's, with this one, there's, he, she, he shows her what she can be. She writes him off as a snob when she first meets him because he isn't as warm and as kind of loving as she's used to sort of being around with people. But the, um, the charm and the charisma and the intelligence and the um, experience. The experience, but, yeah. yeah, exactly. The kind of the worldliness of him that is so so miles away from everything that Lou has experienced up until this point is just intoxicating. And I think that when she sees, it's also the, you know, it's the, what people always say. It's the way he looks at her. Mm. That's it, mm -hmm. and it makes her feel like an entirely different person that actually she quite likes being. And I think I think. Will just loves her honesty and her uniqueness. Um, she, she is Lou Clark and there's no one else like her. He's never met anyone else like her. He's never been kind of forced into a situation that's mm -hmm. meant that he's had to make friends with someone like this. But she, yeah, she's not afraid of him in, in a great way. And I think so many people up to that point they had looked at him and seen the wheelchair and not the person sitting in it and I think she's not she's not afraid of telling him that he's being a nasty person or he's being a nasty person and giving as good as he gets as she gets so it, 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 he finds his sparring partner he finds that thing that he has lacked um, for so many years um, and she brings out the best in him like she brings out the light in him and I think that you know you can't argue with oh, that that's really. a beautiful saying um, lastly, what do you hope audiences take away from the film when they see it? Amelia? Well, I hope that they take away that um, judging people at the first hurdle is never the right way to go. Um, and I also think, I hope that they take away that life is incredibly precious and mm. temperamental. And so with that in mind, if you've got it, in whatever capacity that you're living your life, you should be living it to the fullest, to the fullest that you can. I, I just, you know, think that people shouldn't take things for granted. To be aware of how lucky they are, um, and uh, you know, again, live live life boldly. Live, live. <laughs>